Hi, welcome to AquaGlow training video. Today we're going to show you how to set up your brand new machine and how to use it without any worries. Uh, my name is Barbara and I am the head trainer here at Cyberedic Wellness USA. And uh, we're going to start by showing you how to do a treatment with your AquaGlow. So very easy once you set up your machine, you have your handpiece here and you're going to choose your treatment tips. You received 20 treatment tips with your machine and the treatment tips are those, the clear ones. You just press it on the handpiece and you set up. Do not be confused with the other tip you receive, which is the blue tip. This one is sealed and this one is for cleaning purpose. Once you have your clear tip on the handpiece, you have to go in the back of the machine, turn on the machine, and then you are ready to start. You would always start with solution S1, and that is the green button here. If you press it only one time, you have suction going on. You can test on your hand always. And if you press a second time, it lights up, and it means you're ready to go with suction and release of the solutions onto the skin. And as you do your little test, you see the bubbles going on in the handpiece and the treatment tip, which indicates the solution is ready to be released. You can also adjust on each side of the machine the different settings. On this side, you have the flow of the liquid, how much liquid you want it to be released, and then on this side, you would have the pressure, which is the suction, the strength of the suction. Usually for solution S1, which is your deep cleansing of the pores, you want a fairly strong, but not too strong suction. So I would always advise to go around four, five max to get started. So here we're gonna go around four for the first time, especially if the client never received any kind of treatment similar to this. Once again, you can start to test on your hand and then you will start to also test on your client's face. <laughs> so we're going to start here and do a brief test. See if you have enough liquid going on and if the suction is good and not too strong for your client. Was it okay? Yeah. If you want to adjust a little bit less uh, flow, you go here and readjust. Once you're ready to go, for this first step, you want to go very short, straight, very short and fast and not put too many pressure, not much pressure at all. You want to hold the skin and go in out like you would do for any dermabrasion. We tend to avoid the neck, but you can go slightly under. You can wear gloves. Um, it's your choice, but it's not required. Then you're going to start to see a slight erythema. The skin is getting a little pink, and that's what we want to see. Then you continue to move very quickly everywhere. When you get to the nose, you can hold the nose and go do some slight turn pressure down movement to get all the different parts. The black heads, the white heads, try to suck everything. You can go over the eyebrows if you wanted to it's totally safe and then for the forehead same thing in out so once you've done one side you're going to go on the other side and do the same thing okay. 
This is just a few minutes treatment. You would always remove the makeup from the skin before you get started. If you want the skin to be a little bit more wet, you are welcome to apply a little bit of tonic gel or liquid solution to help the headpiece glide a little bit more onto the skin. We want a little bit more liquid here, so I'm gonna increase a little bit. not too much pressure and hold the skin. And you can do many pass. This is the solution S1 we're using. This is your aquaporin for cleans, exfoliation, and it's rich in lactic acid and glycolic acid as well. And go a little close to the eyes if you want to, as long as you hold the skin. And if you wanted to go a little bit down the neck, hold the skin too, right here. If you feel like you've done enough and the skin is red enough, you can stop right here. Just push the button down and everything stops. Now, to follow up, you can do another uh, step um, and get a deeper exfoliation if you wanted to with the, um, for example, oxygen silicones we recommend, the double peel. We also have the daily botanical enzyme gommage, and this is a bit more gentle. Or you can go straight to the next phase of your um, choice with your own skincare line or also with the S2. So the S2 is gonna be your T-Zone cleaning solution. This is your um, salicylic acid, and that's recommended for combination to oily skin types. If you have a T-Zone that has a little bit more oil, for example, you can use that solution. So all you have to do if you wanted to do this, switch, we have the top here, we just switch into that bottle and then you can use the same side with your green button. You can use the same tip, same process, push two times until it lights up and check on your hand. And on this, if you needed to for the T-zone only, you would go and do the same process. Work again on the T-zone, on the nose, you work on the uh, chin here, upper lips, and all those bigger pores. If your client has bigger pores and have some acne, you can go on that whole area here. When you're done, simply push the button. And reconnect everything. After this, uh, we recommend to go and maybe do like a uh, massage. Um, so you can use a, a cream of your choice, do a nice little relaxing massage. You can use a serum according to your client's skin type. Uh, for example, here we could do the Acel 300 Fluid. And then you can do a few drops. So this is a moment of relaxation. We take that time to massage the skin and infuse a specific serum to calm the skin and prepare for the final hydration. So you choose the serum according to your client's skin type 
and then you're ready to go to the next phase, which is going to be the solution S3. So this is the hydrate and calm solution. This one is rich in uh, hyaluronic acid and some botanicals and vitamins to calm, soothe, and deeply hydrate the skin. Um, so this time you're going to use the orange button. Same tip, you keep your same treatment tip. Press one time, it only gives you suction. And press a second time, it lights up and you're ready to go. Again, a little check on your hand. And on this setting, I would recommend to increase the pressure. So usually you can go to a 7-8 pressure. And then you can also increase the flow if you wanted to get a little bit more liquid because we're going to use a different technique here. So you want a little bit more liquid. You want the skin to be saturated with that whole aquaporin solution here. And we want to really hydrate the skin. So instead of doing no, a little stroke, we're just going to go try to hydrate and firm up the skin. So we do a little dab of solution everywhere. And you want to see a lot more liquid. And you really want to hydrate the skin. So we call it like the little wet kiss solution method. And then we're going to really go press down a little bit more. And if you have a very sensitive skin, it gets really red, plumped up. Stimulate the collagen. And you can still do in and out. You can follow some lines, massage in between. Try to stay flat. Really work by lines. Massage here. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. You really want to plump up the skin, activate the microcirculation, get as much liquid as possible to get that skin rejuvenated and glowing. When you have a very sensitive skin, it gets really red like this, but then it goes away within half an hour, an hour. Okay, when you're done, you want to just put this down, turn off, and then you can just take the time to massage a little bit, get solution in. Once you're done with this, you can go ahead and move on to the next step, which is going to be the use of our cryo handpiece to calm and soothe the skin. To use your cryo handpiece, you want to turn on in the back and then everything lights up. The button and the cryo handpiece itself. When you're done, simply turn it back off. We recommend to not use the cryo handpiece on dry skin. Um, so we always recommend to have a collagen sheet mask or a uh, gel mask, some kind of um, gel texture would help to glide the cryo handpiece onto the face. It's really working great when you have a full mask onto the face too. It helps the mask to penetrate, especially those new collagen sheet masks. We have a great mask called the uh, cryo gel mask. Put it on the face, you can leave it on for like 20 minutes and work five minutes with the cryo handpiece when you do it. It's really feeling great right after. So you have your blue LEDs and the blue color, as you know, it's known to be really good for 
combination to oily skin types to kill the P bacteria on the surface. And also the cooling goes to minus five Celsius. So you're really gonna help to cool the skin right away. And you can work this by circular motion. It's really cooling and soothing, which feels good right after using the different step of the aqua glow because those aquaporin solutions can be a little bit tingling on the skin. You can work this for a few minutes. You can just remove the excess of the products at the end or do a wet towel, remove everything. Once you're done with your cryo handpiece, you want to do the finishing touch of the facial. So at this time you can do your regular uh, serum, eye cream, cream and sun protection before you send your client home. Um, here I'm just going to use our oxygen silicones line. For example, I have here the anti-wrinkle Essence Forte. That's your very light serum. And then you can apply this all over the face. And then you can follow up with a cream. I'm going to use the Vitamin E Daily Moisturizer. And then the skin is all glowing and hydrated. And that's your finishing touch for your Aqua Glow treatment. And finally, if you want to show your client the end of the treatment, what how beneficial it was for their skin. You can show the uh, cloudy solution here um, to show that all the uh, little dirt and um, germs and everything from the skin has been completely transferred into that waste container in the back.